I was just a 15-year-old boy named Alex, with long, flowing blonde hair and a slender frame that often led to me being mistaken for a girl. My mother, Martha, owned a tailor atelier where she designed dresses for women, and it was in this shop that my unusual adventure began. One day, as I was idly flipping through a fashion magazine, my mother approached me with a desperate plea. Her regular models were unavailable, and she needed someone to showcase a new dress she had just finished. With reluctance, I agreed, and before I knew it, I found myself standing in front of the mirror, dressed in a delicate pink gown. Martha meticulously adjusted the dress to fit me perfectly, right there in her shop, in full view of the large shop window. Passers-by could see me in that beautiful dress, and I couldn't help but feel a mixture of embarrassment and curiosity. It didn't take long for our first customer to arrive. Mrs. Smith, a woman in her forties, entered the shop and immediately complimented Martha on the dress she had created, and then she turned her gaze towards me, a smile on her face. She assumed I was a girl, a mistake I was accustomed to by now. Martha graciously thanked Mrs. Smith and rushed over to help her with her purchase, leaving me to stand there in the pink dress, feeling somewhat exposed. As I glanced at them, I noticed they were giggling and exchanging amused glances. I couldn't help but wonder what they found so amusing. Half an hour passed, and Mrs. Smith finally paid for her dress. She turned to me and said, You're such a lucky girl. I smiled politely and bid her farewell, still puzzled by her comment. When Martha returned to my side, I couldn't contain my curiosity any longer. I asked her what they had been talking about, and she chuckled. I told Mrs. Smith that you're my cousin Amanda from Texas, and you'll be helping me model dresses from now on, she explained. I blinked in surprise, unsure whether I should feel relieved or even more embarrassed. It seemed my unexpected stint as a dress model was far from over, but at least there was a plausible story to explain my presence in the shop. As I continued to wear that pink dress and countless others, I realized that life was full of surprises, and sometimes, you just had to embrace them, even if it meant stepping into unfamiliar territory. Life as Amanda continued, and I found myself slipping into the role with surprising ease. My days were now filled with dressing in elegant gowns and showcasing my mother's creations. I had even grown used to being addressed as a girl, both by customers and strangers alike. One sunny afternoon, during our lunch break at the shop, my mother approached me with a glint in her eye. Amanda, how about we go out for lunch today? She suggested. I agreed, and soon we found ourselves in a charming restaurant nestled in the heart of the city. I had never been to such a place before, and I quickly realized that my choice of attire was a bit extravagant for the occasion. The other diners couldn't help but sneak curious glances in our direction. We were seated at a cozy corner table, and as we perused the menu, the restaurant staff approached us. Hello, ladies, the waiter greeted us with a warm smile. I couldn't help but feel a surge of happiness as he referred to us as ladies. It was a stark contrast to the usual confusion and double takes I received when people realized I wasn't actually a girl. Martha and I exchanged amused glances, and I couldn't stop smiling. Throughout our meal, we enjoyed delicious food and engaging conversation. I felt like a different person in that restaurant, a confident and graceful Amanda, not the hesitant boy who had first stepped into his mother's atelier. The attention from the restaurant staff and the other patrons made me feel like I belonged, like I was living a fantasy. As the dessert arrived, Martha leaned over and whispered, You look stunning, Amanda. Maybe we should make this a regular thing. I blushed and nodded, savoring the unique experience of being Amanda, the girl who turned heads and dined in style. That day at the restaurant marked a turning point in my life, where I fully embraced the role of Amanda, not just as a model but as a confident and charming young woman. And I couldn't wait to see where this unexpected journey would take me next. In the days that followed our restaurant outing, I found myself growing more comfortable with my newfound identity as Amanda. My long blonde hair, once a source of self-consciousness, became a symbol of my femininity. I began to experiment with makeup and learn to carry myself with poise and grace. My mother, Martha, proved to be my biggest supporter. She watched with pride as I transformed from her son into the daughter she had always wanted. 
She patiently taught me the art of dressing, makeup, and etiquette, sharing her wealth of knowledge from years in the fashion industry. As Amanda, I became a regular fixture in my mother's atelier, modeling dresses with confidence and elegance. Customers praised not only the dresses but also the beautiful model who wore them. The shop thrived, and our bond as mother and daughter deepened. One evening, as we sat together in our cozy living room, Martha turned to me with a smile. You know, Amanda, I've always dreamt of having a daughter. And you've made that dream come true. Tears welled up in my eyes as I hugged her tightly. And you've given me the opportunity to be the daughter I've always wanted to be, I replied. Over time, Amanda became not just a persona but an integral part of who I was. My friends and acquaintances came to know me as Amanda, and I relished the feeling of being accepted and cherished for who I truly was. With Martha's unwavering support, I began to explore my own dreams and aspirations. I enrolled in a fashion design course inspired by my mother's talent. Together, we worked on projects, each of us contributing our unique perspectives to create stunning pieces. As the years passed, Amanda's presence in our lives became a source of strength and joy for both of us. I couldn't have asked for a more loving and supportive mother, and she couldn't have asked for a more devoted daughter. In the end, it wasn't just the dresses and makeup that transformed me, it was the love and acceptance I found in my mother's eyes that allowed me to embrace my true self as Amanda, the daughter we had both always longed for.